Hi, in this video we will have a quick overview of how the delivery note is generated. Once the plugin is installed and activated, navigate to the invoice packing from the WordPress menu. General settings menu contains common information that is used across all shipping documents. You can explicitly enable or disable the concerned documents required for your site and configure settings pertaining to each document individually. For instance, if you don't require the document dispatch label for your store, disable and save the settings. You can see that it is removed from the menu list. Some of the common data like the company logo, return policy, address details that are used across all the shipping documents should be included in the general settings. You can even load the default address from WooCommerce. The plugin is equipped to resize the logo to fit the plugin requirement. However, we recommend not to upload an image of a large size. Additional information with respect to custom data, RTL support, packaging formats etc. can be configured from the advanced tab. The plugin consists of a help tab that redirects you to documentation and support, as well as lists out additional filters that can be used for extending the plugin functionality. Let's have a look into the delivery note settings in detail. Enable the option if you want the products to be grouped by category in the delivery note. You can see that the products falling under the same category are arranged together. To include variation data of the product in the delivery note, enable this option. The variation data will be displayed under the product. The order meta fields allows you to add additional order meta fields in the delivery notes. You can select any default order meta values from the drop-down or click the add existing order meta field button to create a meta field. To add an order meta, say, invoice number, key in an appropriate field name which will be displayed on the delivery note and enter the meta key as it is. The order meta keys for respective products can be found in the custom field section of the WooCommerce order page. You can see the order meta, invoice number, added in the delivery note. Similarly, to add additional meta fields related to the products, click the add product meta and into the pop-up that appears key in appropriate custom field name and the respective meta key for the field. You can add a print delivery note button to the order email for the chosen status from the drop-down. This will allow your customers to print the delivery note from their order mail. Use the footer section if you need to set up a custom footer message specifically for your delivery note. If not specified the plugin will take the content from general settings. Once all the settings are configured, click the update settings button. Moving on to the customize tab. It is in the customize tab where you get more options to configure the look and feel of the delivery note. You can create new templates from existing layouts. Each layout differs in its appearance and arrangements of elements and its constituent colors. Let us go ahead by choosing the layout imperial and customize it further. You can see that, as per the settings configured previously, the logo, as well as other details, are already populated in the delivery note layout. The visibility of each element in the delivery note can be controlled by the toggle button incorporated in this tab. Additionally, some generic elements like the font size, style, color, and other specific attributes of each element can also be changed as per your need. For instance, let's expand the options under the company logo. You can see that the company name can be displayed instead of the logo. Then you can key in any extra details which will be displayed beneath the company logo or name. Next, change the header color to any desired color of your choice, or you can even reset to default template color. Let's try changing the date format of the order date by selecting any from the drop-down. You can even switch to the code editor to make additional customizations other than the one listed in the visual editor. While making changes via code editor, it would be better for you to refer the help which briefs about placeholders, alternate classes for RTL support, etc. Once all the settings are configured, click on the save and specify an appropriate name for the template, say, my delivery note and save it. If there are no existing templates saved, then the created template will be activated automatically. If multiple templates are saved, it will be listed under my templates with provisions to activate, edit, and delete. On editing an existing template, you will be redirected back to the customize window. You can make the necessary changes to the template and save it as usual. To activate the edited template, click on Activate. 
Now that all your settings are configured, you can go ahead and generate or print the delivery note for your orders very easily. You can preview the delivery note as per your desired layout and settings.